Light the Way Home. That's the theme for a vigil held for Bryce Laspisa, a recent Naperville Central High School graduate who went missing on August 30th out west. His family last heard from Bryce that day while on his way home, now in Laguna Nigel, California, from Sierra College in Rockland, California. His car was found overturned near Castaic Lake, but Bryce himself, not a trace. It's a hard situation. I can only, I can only imagine what my sister is going through, you know, with her, being her son. Um, I could only, I, I can't imagine. I, I, I'm not even going to say anything about that. I mean, I couldn't imagine. The only thought that we have right now is that he's out there somewhere safe, whether he, you know, hit his head in the car accident, he has amnesia and needs our help to find him, um, or, you know, something else. We, we don't really know. We're just hoping that wherever he is, he's safe and that and that he'll come home soon. It's been 30 days since he's been missing, but as this sign says here, friends and family are still keeping the faith. It's been a roller coaster. We get, you know, some possible sightings and it, it lifts your spirits and then you find out it's not him. And, uh, you know, you, then, then you drop into a low. But because of the highs, you know, we're, we're staying, you know, hopeful that, that he's out there somewhere and we will find him try to keep positive and not think of those negative things that people say and I know people are thinking. Um, kind of just try to push that to the back of my mind and know that he will come home. And there is hope out there, you know. You would get little hints and, and things from the net, from other people, just positive responses. It keeps it going. Emily Berenbrugge used to be Bryce's babysitter back when he was an infant living in the area. And though she couldn't help with the search out west, she decided to plan this vigil here at Frontier Park. I have three kids of my own, um, and I couldn't even imagine not being with one of my children for a minute. So when I found out that he was missing, my initial thought was I need to do whatever I can to help bring him home. And I'm here in Naperville, I can't do anything here, but this is like the least I think I can do. And it's not a big deal. I just want to bring Bryce home to his mom because I know how much she loves him and how close they are. And a pastor from Oswego led the group of about 115 in prayer. I don't know Bryce, but I know Noah, William, and Miles. They are my three sons. And for those of you with children here, I'm sure you would agree with me that if one of my boys were missing, um, I would want as many people as possible, any and everybody, to do whatever it would take to find my boys and to bring them home. And so with that spirit, we gather here tonight. Stay strong. That's exactly what the community is trying to do, even while there's still no certainty of Bryce's whereabouts. Reporting from the city's south side, Kevin Maycheck, Naperville News 17.